Holy truck, that is huge. Hey, what is up guys? Trex here, and welcome to Just Cause 3. This is a mining truck. And to be specific, this is, if I can get out of this pole, is called the Nashhorn 61000. And as you can see by my vehicle collection radar, I have not yet collected this vehicle. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go from up here, all the way in Prosperity, this Guardia Prosperity 4, all the way to that town right there, because I need to collect this vehicle, and we need to find a garage. So it looks like the, the closest garage is going to be right here in Agro, because that is 2.17 kilometers away, and the other garage is 2.6 kilometers away. So this is certainly going to be an adventure. We have to take one of these slow-moving garbage trucks two entire kilometers down a mountain to get to a garage. This ought to be fun. Why does Rico walk around like an old woman with arthritis whenever he's on one of these things? Come on, Rico, it's stationary. You don't need to hobble. So interesting thing, these trucks actually exist in real life. And they are just this big. They are absolutely massive. I don't know how they move around or how you operate them, but they actually exist. And that is pretty freaking sweet. Oh, following the road is too mainstream and too slow. Let's just take it right off this cliff down here. Keep it. There we go. Oh, perfect. Please don't get hit by a train. Please don't get hit by a train. Please don't get hit by a train. Get by a train. Capture Bravos. Alright, I'll do my best to free them, but I can't make any promises. Oh, they are all dead. So, whoops. Oh, we have actually got some speed up. We are actually getting somewhere. I think that if we can make it through these trees, we might be in the clear. But, of course, we are falling down a mountainside, and this is just cause 3, so everything is going to explode at some point or another. Ah! Oh gosh, that is terrifying! Oh, I really, really hope I survive this. But if I don't, l let's just hope I survive this. Alright, handbrake, turn, come on, do a drift! I am drifting a mining truck. Well, it's sort of drifting. It's turning, but kind of fast, so I'll count it as drift. It's the closest you'll get to drifting in a mining truck like this. I swear, Farmer Dan, it's for the rebellion. This harvest, it doesn't matter because one day you'll be dead anyways. Oh, we are actually coming up on the garage. This was a, actually kind of a lot easier than I thought it would be. Um, yeah, I thought I thought this would take multiple tries, but we're here and it's processing. It's processing. Old crippled woman Rico is just walking around, and there we go. Nashorn 6100 has been collected. So now we're over here in Costa Sud, and naturally, we need to see what this looks like in the Rebel Drop. So let's go to the vehicles. I believe it's a utility, uh, utility vehicle. Oh, look, I have them all collected now. That's sweet. Let's see. I just need two more off roads from Daredevil Jumps. All the vintage cars, got all the modern cars, all the sports cars, all the utility vehicles. Need these from military bases, military base, sea vehicles. Oh, yeah, so I have one vehicle left that I can co collect, but naturally, we need to test this thing out in the Rebel Drop. So, stand back, any citizens, it's for your own good, except you, I'm just going to put you right there. Oh my gosh, that, that is, yeah, yeah, I suppose it makes sense, maybe, maybe the crit, dude. I just realized something. The crates are like TARDIS's man, and that's why they can fit one of these on the inside, just like a normal, like normal shipping, like container man. But it's because they're TARDIS's man. So since we collected this vehicle, now that it appears in the Rebel Drop, it comes with boost and a jump. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Because you may be. Yep, naturally, we've just got to take this thing right off a daredevil jump, straight towards an occupied village, but, oh, nope, no, oh, things are going very wrong, oh, no, oh, no, 
I'm heading right for the apartments. I'm gonna kill children. When my social studies teacher asked me, where do you see yourself in 10 years? This was not what I was thinking at the time. All right, I think one last hit should do the trick. Uh, nope, maybe one other last hit. Maybe just a third last hit. A fourth. Is that it? Did, did it do it? Just blow off the stinking truck already. All right, this thing's super tough, but it's not tough enough. Let's do this. Come on, blow up, baby. Come on, just blow up. You can do it. Are you serious? Oh, this is very poorly timed. I am sorry about that. Oh, yeah. It's for the rebellion, I swear. All right, Nashorn 6100 back in stock. So now, actually, we just have to see how well can it crush a bus. I should get out of the way, shouldn't I? That is a solid bus crushing machine. Hey, hey, get back here. Did, did you seriously just do that? Get back here, sir. Oh, I actually got it. Oh, that was a gorgeous shot. This, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I pulled off the shot. That was awesome. All right, one more time. We're gonna go off this daredevil jump. jump. See what we can do. Just, oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, man, this thing can jump. Oh, get out of the way, bus. All right, one more time. Daredevil jump. Let's see if we can hit this. Come on, get some speed and hit the jump. Oh, totally nailed it. Jump, just get up there. Get it. Yeah, we hit it. We actually, we did a front flip. We did a front flip in the Nash horn. We did a front flip in the Nash horn. And that is a job well done. We got the Nash horn, we tested its abilities, we crushed a brush, bus, we did a front flip. So anyways guys, that was Jessica's 3, Voyage of the Nash horn. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. And, I, I'm trying to perfectly time this. And, c come on, explode already. And, goodbye. Good, good, there we go, perfect, goodbye.